Hello people. Howdy. This is Girlfriends on Radio Unilag 103.1 FM and with me I have this is Ngazi <laughs> and with me is Taiwo. Hello Ngazi, how are you? Fine, thank you. Okay, Hi now. guys out there, how are you doing? How's your week? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So Taiwo, how are you? It was fine. Then, no, no, we need to bring, we, we need to split the weekends or so from <laughs> from, from Monday, Monday to Thursday, Thursday. <laughs> and then Friday stands alone. Just just in case Friday was and I was the opposite of what the week was, so you need to go from from. Okay, so what happened on Monday? I have, okay, Monday was fine. Tuesday was fine. Wednesday, my laptop decided to rest. <laughs> I not take permission. I not take permission, which was very, very annoying. So it really slowed work down for me. Like for two days, I was like, "Oh my god, my laptop!" And then Friday or Thursday evening, it finally brought it so I could work. Then Friday, I was fed. So at the end. <laughs> Hello people, we're back and this is Girlfriends on Radio. Remember, you can join this conversation on Facebook, Girlfriends Nigeria. Mm -hmm. And then drop us a line on Twitter and that's Girlfriends006. You can also... (laughs) You can also see see past shows, this show, sometime later this week on our YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. That's Girlfriends on Radio. Today we're talking about the aftermath of Valentine's Mm -hmm. and then some people are broke, some people are in debt. <laughs> you know, know that's what? the funny thing. Like when you spend all your money mm. on a woman and you not start looking at <laughs> You know, I, I think I think um people's perspective change when they know that they're going to still be in a relationship with the person the yeah. next day my friend so, told her boyfriend she was like boo this year not you know <laughs> <laughs> she told him like two days before valentine the guy was like no no it's okay i don't expect anything yeah. from you no no she said no you should expect but i'm just telling you that there's this year, year, there's nothing no. and yeah. then she was like don't get me anything you know and the guy was like no i'll get you something true I and I, th- I i i think it's more it's about communication it. yeah and, and, and understanding it's, it's I think we, we we need to understand that our relationships should be um sh- they should be founded on openness on yes. truth. Yes. So yes. if you've been lying to this guy that you are this you are that or he's been lying to you that he's this and he's that. Is it maybe the guys don't like it worse? Because <laughs> I think babes, so. you can even still get away, so. but a guy comes to you and tells you, oh, I work here, I do this, I do that. <laughs> oh yeah, I represent now. There's always one story one, today, one story tomorrow. But you know what? I I also had a thought. I I I I I'm, I'm going to actually rethink some of the things I said last week. Okay. Okay. So we talked about flowers. Yeah, we spoke mm-hmm. about flowers, and I said I so, wasn't into flowers. Uh huh. And so by the time we, of course, I've been prompting everybody at work. My husband is not around. Though. Don't bother <laughs> expecting any cake. We cannot send cake from where he is. So I I I've been giving them a heads up because they are, they have been harassing me. All of a sudden, some girl came into the office and I was I didn't really think that she's close with um, friends with him or something. Okay. So she just came in. Ah, ah, next thing I saw the whole tray tray train of wow. gifts coming in. You know, Does I, she work in your office? No, nah, she's just in my church okay. and all. Okay. So then she came with this wonderful bouquet of flowers. Oh. And I would have thought I'm not a flower person. But obviously, no. I think it's the person that gave it to you that will make you a flower person. Honestly, and, and there was so much hype. Like, my profile really, really rose <laughs> in your office. <laughs> your husband put you on a different pedestal. Like, and, oh, then, and, then the guy, and then apparently the guys had, had, maybe they had done their round. They had tried to find out how to get flowers okay. and all. So they knew the worth of the flower. Okay. And we were like, no, Like the guys in the no. office? Yeah. Okay, okay. Like, no. What kind of flowers were they? They were roses. With roses okay. and then some other white ones white Moroco, roses because those, I, saw, those, I saw yeah they were they were yellow roses and red roses then there was this white one that was really like one is that's how you know we are Nigerians I'm not push I'm not you not push Nigerians my sister said she hopes that after giving me this bouquet he also sent some other things because if it's this bouquet and I looked at the <laughs> bouquet this morning it was already dying and I no you should put it in the vest I put it in water I put it in water what kind of I think it would have lasted for a week 
he can't reach. yes I, there was a time there was a time someone gave me flowers because i was recovering mm -hmm. and actually put it and he actually that's a for a week girls i beg please who's flowers do you smell them still like, i did do i tried to do the whole you both say <laughs> put my nose inside took a picture i sneezed because there was like pulling from the flowers then i sneezed and, but i just found out that <laughs> maybe, maybe i'm actually quite like, let's not embarrass ourselves too much <laughs> maybe, maybe i'm actually quite the evolved flower girl. in nature no, i think maybe maybe i think it's also because it was unexpected true you that know, it was a surprise true. and then there's just something about flowers that make you feminine even if you don't like flowers you yeah. know it's coming in from your husband so true. obviously you're like true. they are getting anything Oh yeah, she did, she did, she did. My sister Los sent her this manjaful um, teddy bear saying I love you no, no, and no, sent no. from her daddy. No, no, no. Why? Because we had defined vows there. Yes, yes, no, yes. No, 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 And we're back. This is Girlfriends on Radio. Mm -hmm. And we're talking about the aftermath of Valentine's Day. Yes, we are. And we're talking about rewarding guys for giving us good things. <laughs> <laughs> but how do you reward a guy for giving you good things? Is it in cash or in kind? Huh. First of all, <laughs> first of all, first of all, you shouldn't feel indebted to a guy because he bought you a Highlander. You should. Uh, wait, wait. <laughs> so wait. Wait. No, 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 wait, but you won't tell him, you won't, no, no, you tell him, you like, you politely, the way you tell him will be sweeter, because they, I, uh, uh, what's, what's wrong with you, if a guy call you flowers now, and he wants to, uh, no, you know, flowers cost a lot, too, but that's not the point, is that what we are going to be eating, so your own died yesterday, it didn't even last for a week, so no, so if a guy got, that's quite tempting, you know, it is, not to sleep with him, but just to, like, cuddle, you know, and, you know, you know what cuddles oblige. do, yeah, like, okay, you tell him, you know what, for what you, it's so hard, because you want to express how thankful you are, so you start with, oh, thanks, baby, and then you hug. <laughs> you know what, I, you know, I you, know, you, know my, you, you, you know, my, philo my philosophy is, you don't give what's not yours to give. Yeah. I think it's a general understanding that we as women need to have, and especially as godly women, yeah. your bodies, yes, they belong to you, but exactly. you don't have the liberty. Really yours, yeah. yeah, if not, people don't allow their bodies to die of cancer. And, or and, and, and the truth of the matter is, no matter how expensive the gifts are, you know, mm -hmm. if this guy really understands your values, sure. you know, he will understand that you really, because nobody should buy your love or sure. coerce it out of you. You don't need to feel indebted, like you said. Sure. You know, if you start sleeping with someone because of the degree of gifts that he's True. giving to you, then I don't know. Well, I think it even skews your own your own sense so, of yeah, esteem XC. with the guy because yes. you've been saying no to him. Yeah. Then he gives you it's an like I a watch and a Chanel bar, yeah, uh, uh, and then he now tells you and then you say and so like he's he like okay so so cheap. this is the so this is this the value and, and he does go saying everyone has a price it's true and for some people they're actually just and waiting you know, and with that, pushing with that everyone has, has a price i have i had this conversation with um someone like a few years back and they said every woman has a price and i'm like true. no no, no, no there are guys still walking around with that impression and it's, it's really very sad because as true. a woman i'm not a feminist but i'm very passionate about women and i really hated that guys really think that some oh, women can easily be bought if the right yeah. price is put down and i'm thinking but there are women out there who have uh, you know a deep sense of you know ex ex self-esteem and yeah. they, they, they know who they are they know their values they know their worth and if it's no then no it's no not because i'm not attracted to you but because i you know i want to keep myself until i'm married and, and it might sound old school yeah it might sound like we're being silly but there are people out there who are living these lives and it's it takes grace obviously true, but true. at the same time it, it can, it's doable and it's no on february 13th 
no on 14th, no on 15th. No every no day until every day. he has the legal rights to get in there. <laughs> in there. I told you about the girl that was shouting, don't enter, don't <laughs> enter. <laughs> Jesus name, don't enter. Oh my God. So please don't even be found in that position. Or oh, the other one that was speaking in tongues. Oh, <laughs> like, please, like please. seriously. Just, just be smart about it, but then be grateful. Say yeah. thank you and give a good gift in yeah. return. But even if you don't have, or you don't have the financial capacity at that time to give a good gift, there are ways that you can let your man feel appreciated. But know? we overemphasize this not having the financial capability. You might be a student. We, you we like mean, to be working. Oh well, yeah, you know. Yeah, and right. if your guy is already working and earning money, and you are still like probably in year four, you know. True, true. I don't expect you to go and steal just because you want to show your guy that you love him. Well, then use your party um, to get. And then yeah, you but you can have been saving. <laughs> no, the thing is that during the year you can give him maybe on his birthday, you know, like okay, you have I, a birthday. I, 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 I just, I just, I just think that sometimes women overemphasize that. Well, he knows I don't have, but, Val, but, but Valentine's think, Day gives you like a year ahead. But do you know the that women people, are more given in relationships? Uh, but when it comes to gifts, sometimes people just say, and okay, I heard someone say, guys, things are too expensive, jaw. But they are now. I, I know, I know. But, but, but they are now. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't spring up on you like. You have a year. But you, you have his birthday. But then we spend that on Christmas. ourselves. No, no, no. no. I'm talking about girls that buy two hundred and fifty thousand naira hair. Okay, they find no, a way no, to no, those no, girls. No, no, no. It's not everyone who is comfortable enough to buy. But if they are buying Brazilian but, air and everything, you obviously have money to spend. That that's what buying. I'm saying. But we find a way. But seriously, Taiwo, we find a way to buy the stuff we want to get for ourselves. And girls, <laughs> let's be honest. When we want to buy black or powder or want to buy, <laughs> we get the money out. We get the money. But when it comes to giving guys things, sometimes we think that they understand. They understand. But the day you give them something nice, yeah. you see that maybe yeah. they do. Maybe yeah. they didn't really understand. Yeah. Another part of the aftermath that we're also going to be talking about is where does all the love go? On the, the yeah, yeah. Where, where does the all the love the go? So there are some people I had never even seen what their booze looked like until yesterday. <laughs> and I was like, that's what they started putting on their dick. Like, why did you celebrate this guy every day? Well, maybe not, not every maybe day. Not every day you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. People are rude. I'm not cool. No one problematic. <laughs> like, you're trying to tell everyone, hey, he's broke. Okay, let me tell you a story that my dad told me. Sorry to say. I think he said he heard it on radio or something about a guy, right, who is married and then he wants to surprise his wife and oh. so his wife called him and said honey when I get home he was like oh sorry sweetheart I'm gonna be very home late today because mm -hmm. I'm working and everything she's like okay fine no um, problems but what he intended to do was you know give her a surprise cake mm -hmm. and her best friend who is single makes the cakes uh. right so what happens is he drives to her best friend's house that they've already arranged and the cake wasn't yet ready I think mm -hmm. they were trying to put icing or whatever mm -hmm. so the friend sat him down and put a bottle of wine in oh, front no. of him you know and tells him oh. it'll be ready soon whatever oh. and so he's just chilling waiting for his cake to be ready so he can go home and surprise his wife oh, and then she and comes, then she comes in, in. No. and sees her husband no sitting way. down with and then she just goes bah, 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 <laughs> slaps him and walks out the door and oh. shuts the door and then the friend run the friend runs out and says oh what was that and the guy's just looking oh my so if you are in the position of uh. the husband and i'm thinking maybe it's trust issues because she didn't want chill uh. but you're married so you if you saw you know your husband somewhere else and your best friend and he told you that he was working late. You I'll, trust that he's not supposed to be there. What he's been looking for? I think. I, I think. I, on, I honestly think that they are, they are planning something for me. Exactly. So. That's the I trust. So. But it I mean, was, why did she enter the room and give the girl her own portion it's too now? Tricky. It's, 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 it's tricky. Yes, your husband said to you he was gonna come in it, and then you see him chilling your best friend's house. But the slap, like, and it was all for you. Oh, yeah. Oh so God. I don't know. Um, so let's not be para. <laughs> Yeah. With, with all this love, I realized that you know people say they have love, but there's no trust, and I don't know if there's love without trust. Nah, nah, no. I don't think. But so many marriages and so many relationships. I think no like people we, without. We, we, uh, uh, do you know how many people that your your man sees, or how many? We, uh, we, we, if you don't, you just die. You die. You die. You die. Young. So you have to. You have to. You we know. we have to trust. We have to yeah. trust. We have to trust, and then we have to show our love all year round mm -hmm. so for those of us who had a wonderful time for those of us who didn't have a wonderful time this year mm -hmm. hopefully next, next year we'll have year. a better time even those yeah. of us who had a nice time we'll have a better time next year yeah so yeah please join the conversation <laughs> don't forget our social media sites drop us a line on twitter and on facebook see you next week all right guys bye